This podcast will be discussing the use of scatter plots. We can use a scatter plot and line graph to be able to describe the relationship between our independent and our dependent variables. This is particularly useful for variables with numerical values that have a specific order associated with them. The dependent variable will be on our y-axis or our vertical axis. The independent variable will be on our x-axis or on our horizontal axis. And we just simply plot the values on the graph and try to draw a line that comes as close to these values as possible, or kind of through the middle of the values. And this will help us better understand what the relationship is between the independent and the dependent variables. So for instance, if we had a um, hypothesized relationship between GDP per capita and migration into or out of a country. And we have these plotted for various countries around the world. We can see that there's variation in GDP per capita in countries around the world from almost no GDP per capita or very poor countries to very wealthy countries out about $80,000 in GDP per capita. And then we have various migration statistics. Some countries experience a lot of uh, outward migration, and those would be negative numbers. And other, and other countries experience a great deal of inward migration and positive numbers. So it would be interesting to try to trace out this relationship using a scatter plot. So we can do this by placing a line that comes as close as possible to these data points or these values. And it gives a general sense that as the GDP per capita in a country increases, migration into the country also increases. And that makes sense because these countries are economically desirable and thus uh, will attract a lot of migrants. Countries that are relatively poor will not attract as many migrants for economic reasons. So that scatter plot can tell us something very useful about that relationship. We can make a few basic conclusions. We can note the, in fact, I'll go back to that line. We can note the, the, uh, kind of the overall tendency of the relationship by noting the slope of the line. And slopes are either positive, negative, or neutral. So a poor positive relationship, as the independent variable increases in value, the dependent variable also increases. For a negative relationship, as the independent variable increases, the dependent variable decreases in value. And for a neutral relationship, as the independent variable increases, the dependent variable stays the same. It does not change. So for a positive relationship, we can see that as x goes up in value, so does y. And that described very well, just go back, to the relationship between GDP per capita and migration into a country. That's a positive relationship. A negative relationship would be um, some, the opposite where the independent variable's values increase, the dependent value, variable values decrease. But that's not what we saw in that uh, GDP per capita and that migration relationship. Finally, there can be neutral relationships where no matter what the value of the independent variable is, the value of the dependent variable stays the same. And this can be represented by a horizontal line, perfectly horizontal, and also a perfectly vertical line, which I don't draw here, but you can imagine that uh, for any value of the dependent variable, the independent variable value does not change. In the next podcast, we're going to focus on inferential statistical analysis with a, with a particular uh, focus on regression analysis.